that tail doesn't swing around, fall off the boat, and cause trouble. And I also keep, I also, sorry, I undo the strap at the front and I tie a rope onto it and then tie that to the trailer so that way it'll, it'll float off. Now it depends on the ramp that I'm at, but sometimes I may leave it hooked up and I'll unhook it myself because I can walk out into the water and it's only ankle deep and you don't got to worry about it too much. But most of the time I tie a front line onto it and then uh, let it go out. Quick side note, whenever I leave the house, the plug goes... Now whenever I leave the house, the plug goes into the boat. I always keep the plug in the boat whenever I leave the house. That way I know that the plug's in the boat and I ain't gonna sink the boat. I don't like trying to put it in at the ramp unless it's like down pouring rain. Um, I really, it's just a habit of mine to put, put the plug in the boat at home and that way I don't gotta worry about it. Sunny day, it's gonna be hot. All about sun protection this year. All right, let's get out on the water. All right, so we just got to the ramp. This is how it comes. I just put that there, and I just loaded all of this stuff in here. Now, this is the string. I was talking about keeps that tail there then have that wrapped around at least once keep a little thing there so ratchet strap down to the trailer now with gas can keep that just tied there and that way it sort of bounces around but it stays in that spot. This is sort of brittle. I don't want that to break off. And then for the fishing rods and reels, let me get my shadow out of the way. Fishing rods and reels. I keep one tie there and then keeping the butts up in there keeps it pretty secure. So that's how I keep that. And everything else sort of just stays there. And that's how I trailer my boat. All right, another thing when you're transporting your trailer. Fuel has to be shut off. Make sure it's shut off because if, if your carb opens up and it stays open, it starts leaking fuel everywhere, just not a good situation. So make sure fuel's off, engine off. Keep this tied because then if, if it's in the off position, this key will fall out. So I keep that tied there. And that way you know that your motor's good to travel.